Welcome to Album of the Week, episode 37, June 2023. For those of you new to this channel, here at Screen Blast Repeat, we bring you all things extreme metal, prog, and dark alternative. You can read our daily reviews at www.screenblastrepeat.com. As a reminder, our definition of Album of the Week means our favourite record from a short list of eight. Today... We review the latest release from Hungarian avant-garde metal innovators Vykatafalk. Their new LP is called Alfeld and they released it by a season of mist on the 16th of June 2023. Metal experimentalist Tomasz Katoy returns with his 11th Vykatafalk album since the formation of the project in 1998. In that time, the Hungarian has ascended to the status of a legend in the avant-garde metal scene thanks to his tireless reinvention and determination to write art with no boundaries or limitations. Screen Blast Repeat praised 2021's magnificent Vadak album and noted that, like the mastermind behind Igor, Tomasz Katoy knows how to merge extreme metal with the weird and wonderful and shows no signs of exhausting his imagination or capacity for innovation. Is it possible to follow his last effort with something of equal dynamism? You should already know the answer to that question if you're familiar with his flawless back catalogue. You'll need to check that you selected the correct artist on your streaming platform when you plug in your headphones and the first 30 seconds of opener Ascend Hegyai blast through your speakers. Is this a by catapult record or a long lost recording from German death metal legends Morgoth? Burrowing guitar riffs remain in a minor key as the changes of tempo and slimy grooves fly around your head like subliminal urges to thrust a knife into your childhood enemy. Morbid vocal intrusions fester in a monosyllabic savagery straight from the mid-90s. That's because Lambert Ledeshi of Hungarian black metal veterans, Ariman, takes the microphone for this song. Listen how the action halts at 3 minutes and 21 seconds, only to resurrect with yet another biting guitar riff straight from the charnel house of Samael. The first three tracks of Alfeld are an unashamed love letter to the extreme metal of Katoy's early days. If anyone deserves a break from relentless genre defiance, it's he. Test and Tool sees Katoy sharpen his black and death metal credentials with a nod to Dark Throne and the early menace of Emperor. Ah, Fuldel. Egienlo mixes the primal blackened thrash of Immortal with the sharp syncopation of Slayer. It's not clear who has the microphone here. Is Berlint Bacoldi responsible for the venomous vocal inflections, or is it Katoy exploring his harsher register? The latter shrouds the distortion in a green mist of enchanting keyboard accents before dropping out for a brief interlude of dungeon synth textures and fretless bass meanderings. You've no idea what to expect next, but an up-tempo Black Sabbath sortie, followed by a Celtic Frost tangent of fifth chords and French horn musings, provides the muscle before Katoy introduces a female orchestra into the blender. This is where the album takes a left turn towards experimentation. Of course, a miscegenation of contrasting musical styles is what Tomasz Katoy does best. In this regard, we should see that Katafalk as a successor to the avant-garde death metal of Edge of Sanity. The nine-minute title track builds from the imperious death doom of Trypticon and uses Lambert Ledeshi once more to imbibe it with a sinister presence. Here, Wagnerian horns and marauding guitars create a malevolent atmosphere of sound worthy of mayhem. How it transitions from this into a psychedelic piece of percussive rock 
boggles the mind. There's no going back to the void here, even though Martina Veronica Horvat of The Answer Lies in the Black Void is the person Katoi uses to change the genre from metal to folk with a beautiful cadence of voice phrasings. Breno Macado's expressive lead work on the classical guitar will transport you to the late afternoon woodlands of Transylvania under a sky of grey and white formations. How many times can thy catafalque produce an incredulous reaction in one song? Foliondor threatens to unfurl in full symphonic pomp, but reorientates towards a frenzy of flute and bass soloing before you can wave your imaginary baton. Fans of Dirt Heimsgird's experimental work will appreciate the synergy of black metal tremolo rhythms and European folk rituals in Sulagot Gurgeta, when sandwiched in between the most boneheaded of power chord eruptions. Sometimes you can hear early Therion in this music, other times you'll feel like Katoi has you in a prog metal odyssey with Igor at the decks. The abrupt switch from melodious gothic textures to a goose-stepping death metal assault on closing track Name of Fermec will blind you to the conventional chorus of the heart of the composition. A vague sense of bewilderment gives way to a dashing overflow of bedazzlement at every turn. Thy catafalque are leaders in the experimental metal field. They have no interest in continuing any legacy but their own, even if the chasm left by a Celtic frost and edge of sanity still feels like yesterday. The metal world needs new heroes. Let's start with Tomasz Katoi, the man who would rather die in obscurity than take one of the new pedestals beckoning him to glory. It should come as no surprise that Scream Blast Repeat enjoyed this album, so, after multiple listens, we award it... A 9 out of 10. If you like this album, we recommend you check out the following records. Edge of Sanity's groundbreaking 1996 album, Crimson. Dirt Heimsgard's 1999 foray into experimental metal with 666 International. And this year's EP from French progressive death metal act OSM called Plagued by Doubts. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook, and more importantly, please visit our website at www.screenblastrepeat.com for the latest album and EP reviews from established, up-and-coming, and unsigned artists in the worlds of extreme metal, prog, and dark alternative.